Hey everybody, back with a new episode of Supernatural. Last episode, we found out what exactly John had said to Dean in the hospital, and that was that he needs to protect Sam, because if he can't, then he's gonna have to kill him, which is really upsetting. Um, very upsetting to Sam, now that he's found out. He tried to split up to, with Dean, but um, Gordon came after him, and they worked together to get him dealt with. He's in jail for now. Um, but we had Ava, who also has visions, like Sam. I think she's the first special kid that has visions as well as Sam. So that was interesting. But now she's apparently taken. Her fiancé was killed. So that's where we're at. So this next episode is called Playthings. Let's get into it. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Watch your mouth. Make your foot first. Watch your mouth too, Maggie. I feel like we're going to have a red rum situation with them too. I do not care for creepy dolls. Is that an exact replica of their house? These are some rich kids. Good night, Tabitha. It's like an Annabelle situation. for me. <laughs> I'm officially uncomfortable now. Thank you. Fog, secret passageways, sissy British accents. Might even run into Fred and Daphne while we're inside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm, Daphne. Love her. Calm down. I think this place is a little too uh, white meat for hoodoo. <sighs> Maybe. Uh, let me guess, you guys are here antiquing? How'd you know? Well, you just look the type. <laughs> so, uh, king size bed? What? No. No. Uh, Everyone no, thinks no. they're king. <laughs> Two singles. We're just brothers. Antiquing. Oh. oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Let me guess. Antiquers? Is that code for gay? <laughs> I'll give you a hand with that bag. I got it. Okay. You're not gonna. Cheap out on me, are you, Bill? <laughs> of course, the most troubling question is, what do these people assume we're gay? <laughs> well, you're kind of bush. Probably think you're overcompensating. Oh my God, he does overcompensate. That is true. Because this one, this one here, he's, he's got a major dog collection back home, don't you? Huh? <laughs> Big time. Mm -hmm. Big time. Yeah. You think he could come in? Well, we could come in and take a look. I don't know. Please. Please. I mean, he loves them. He's not going to tell you this, but he's, he's always dressing them up in these little tiny outfits. And I mean, you'd make his day. You, she would. Huh? Huh? Go with it. It's true. <laughs> and you get online, check old old bits, freak accidents, that sort of thing. See if he's whacked anybody before. Right. Don't go surfing porn. It's not the kind of whacking I mean. <laughs> I've been meaning to ask. What sort of renovation Poor do you Sam. Just having to deal with Dean all the time. Tell me what. No, not hanging. No, I hate it. Uh, I hate it. I hate it. Two thirty-seven. This is such a shining. There's been another homage. This guy just hung himself in his room. You're bossy. What? You're bossy. <laughs> you short. <laughs> Is he drunk? Are you drunk? Yeah. So? <laughs> Stupid. I couldn't say. What are you talking about? You didn't know. You couldn't have done anything. That's an excuse, Dean. Sam, what are you... 
I should have found a way to save him. Oh. I should have saved Ava too. Yeah, well, you can't save everyone. You, you do not need to that. drink. Oh, you are a sad drunk. All right? The more people I save, the more I can change. Change what? My destiny, um. Dean. And if I ever turn into something that I'm not, you have to kill me. Sam. Dean, I never told you to do it. You have to. I promise. Thanks. Sam, never drink again. <laughs> Although we get to see how he's really feeling. <sighs> oh, poor Sam. Ah, this is very The Shining. I love it. Find any good antiques? Uh, <laughs> no. No. Got distracted. Not happy now? Well, would you be leaving the only home you ever knew? I don't know. I never really knew one. Well, this is Rose's home. It's been in the family over a century. How are you feeling, Sammy? <laughs> I guess mixing whiskey and Jaeger wasn't such a gangbuster idea, was it? Yeah, I bet you don't remember a thing from last night, do you? Oh, I can still taste the tequila. Oh. So it can't be Rose. Heck, maybe it's not even a hoodoo. You. you know she could be fake. Yeah, what do you want to do, poke her with a stick? Don't do that. Dude, you're not going to poke her with a stick. I don't like her. Isn't that your mom? There you go, Sam. You she needed okay? that. I think so. For morale. Come on, come on, let's get inside. Go, go. You need to clear everybody out of here. Your employees, um, your mother, your daughters, everyone. Um, I only have one daughter. One? I thought Tyler had a sister named Maggie. Maggie's imaginary. Where's Tyler? I just now got that. We can have lots of tea parties. Wherever. Ever. I feel like that was probably telegraphed by like no one actually talking to that girl, but I didn't get it. Oh my god, my mom. My mom had a sister named Margaret. She barely spoke about her. Did Margaret happen to die here when she was a kid? She drowned in the pool. There you go. Come on. That's her! Why don't you just come with me and mommy? Because I can't leave here. And you can't leave me. Not a bit. Is there another entrance? I'm right back! Alright, let's go. Keep working. That's really strong glass for a really old building. That's rough. She's been down there a while. Chest compressions. Go. Chest compressions. <laughs> okay. Sure. Is she back anywhere? No, she's gone. Two minutes, we just gotta get grandma. Grandma's dead. Is that gonna trap her there? So Maggie won't be alone? You two take care of yourselves, all right? Thank you. Serious, it makes you like it. Yeah. Overcompensating. Feels good to get Meg in the saddle, doesn't it? 
Yeah. Yeah, it does. But it doesn't change what we talked about last night. Oh, he remembers. We talked about a lot of things last night. You know what I mean. You were wasted, but you weren't. And you promised. I don't know if he can hold himself to that. That's a lot to ask. Theme. I don't want you to have to make that choice. Okay, that was definitely Supernatural's take on The Shining. Um, they were even in room 237, so that was definitely intentional. Um, I guess it's a happy-ish ending because... Rose, I think her name was, got to be young again, and you know, the stroke really hinders what you can do. So she got to be kind of free from that, and got to be with her older sister who was killed. But her older sister is like evil. Like, and I guess you could explain away trying to have the the young girl, Tyler, I think her name was, you know, be there with her forever. But she was killing all the guests and stuff, so. That's kind of dark. Sam does not need to drink <laughs> anymore. He's silly, but also a sad drunk. Um, that, that was funny, but like really hit on to how he's like feeling. I imagine just in his head, he's just constantly like trying to like think, oh, am I, if I do this, this will push me too far. If I do this, it'll push me too far. I've got to save all these people so I don't ever become bad. Like. That's a lot. That's a that's a big burden. And that makes me really sad. Um, and he he agrees ultimately with John that Dean is gonna have to kill him if it comes to it. But God, a I don't want it to, to even get that bad. But B I don't want Dean to have to deal with that. That would there's no coming back from that for him. He'd never get over that. Oh, they're pushing that hard, and it's gonna gonna break my heart I know it um they do get mistaken for a gay couple quite a bit I guess we'll just say they're getting accused of being antiquers <laughs> but they gotta like have a sign just to hold up we're brothers <laughs> or something so they definitely pulled like a sixth sense where it was kind of a twist that the little girl was dead all along. I didn't get it. I mean, like, I wasn't on top of that. And I guess, I bet some people probably were because no one probably talked to her and it was probably pretty obvious, but I didn't get it. Um, but that was cool. I was, like, more focused on, oh, they're twins. This is very The Shining. They're going to be, like, red rum creepy. So I wasn't even thinking, like, one of them was dead. Um... And they pulled in some hoodoo situation. It's always like a nanny who's ultimately trying to protect the family. That drowning was kind of ridiculous. Like she was in there a good while and she had like no water in her lungs. They didn't need to do chest compressions at all, but okay. But it is good that Sam got a win for the episode since he was feeling so down. Um, I hate that he has to feel like he needs to do that, but it's where we're at. Um, yeah, this is a pretty good episode. I enjoyed it. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I'll be back soon.